Oh, f- that. Hello and welcome to another episode of Two Week Startup, the YouTube channel where every two weeks we try and launch a completely different business. I'm Michael, an entrepreneur who's worked in a number of profit and non-profit organisations. This week's two week business is going to be customised NASA spacesuits. Let's get straight into it. All right then. So this video is going to be split into two main parts. Firstly, what we're going to try and do is figure out how we can make the spacesuit and then we're going to give you the steps on how you can make your own. And then the second half of this video is basically going to be trying to figure out can we make a business out of this product. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is take a look at some pictures of real astronauts and see what their spacesuits look like so we know what to base ours around. So let's do that now. So let's skip past all the fancy dress suits until we find the real genuine articles that we want to aim for. Let's also put patches to one side for now and focus more on finding the right shape and colour and overall look of the boiler suit we want. So what our general product search has produced is essentially, just really simply, we want a boiler suit that has zips instead of normal flaps and it needs to be a blue. And we want to aim for more actually of a navy blue, even though that's not as close to the kind of uh, royal and baby blue colour of the actual NASA, because I think it's just a bit more a bit more casual and a bit more street wary and maybe just something you can actually wear publicly. Whereas I think the official NASA colour is maybe just a bit too pyjamery inside the house. Now we know what the real deal is, let's try and find a manufacturer. So if you remember from our previous video, we created a manufacturer's square that was based on whether they're online or in person and they're based domestically or internationally. Now, because we're not really looking for a manufacturer to custom make the suit for us and we just want to find something ready done that we can stick the patches on, we're actually just going to focus domestically and then we kind of want someone in person that we can maybe just go and pick up the boiler suit from like a screw fix or a tool station. So after all the product searching we've done, I think our best bet is a boiler suit from tool station called Port West Liverpool C813, bit of a mouthful, zip coverall. Um, it nicely comes at just under £20, which gives us a bit of leeway in terms of how we can then price our spacesuit. I'll come back when I've gone and picked it up and we can have a look at it. Today I went and I picked up uh, the coverall from Tool Station. I got medium. I'm a bit nervous that it might be a bit too big. That's the thing with these things. I think they are meant to be a bit, a bit baggy and whatnot. And I feel with the space, you kind of want to have it a bit tight. So I, uh, I really don't want to have to return and go and bloody get the small. But uh, if that's what we're going to have to do, that's what we're going to have to do. So I'm going to put that on now. Let's see how it looks. Let's see if I can do this click thing. If I click. Uh, the size, I think medium is right. Uh, I think a small would be way too tight around the chest. I count seven pockets. So it's actually quite good. We've got one on the shoulder, two big ones here, two ones for the hands, one on the bum, and then one just beneath the pockets here. Um, I'll see if I can show you how it looks full, but. I really don't know if this is the craziest thing I've done. <laughs> I basically now need to turn a tool station coverall into a NASA flight suit. All right, time out. I think it's probably worth me addressing why I chose a spacesuit as the next two week business. Well, I'm a space fan myself and I was actually trying to look for a customizable spacesuit online, but I couldn't find one. And that's where I think the best business has come from personal solutions to personal problems. I think it comes across as more authentic, you'll be more personally engaged when you have any troubles with your business, and I just think all around, it, you'll understand the community and the target market better. Basically, I'll print out how the badges will look, where they'll go, just tape them on, and then I can have a rough look of how the stuff will look on this um, coverall. All right, so we've printed some stuff off, we've gone for NASA logo, Union Jack, a kind of 
vibey, spacey thing to put on the sleeve and my name on the badge. Let's clear my desk, cut the stuff up, and then we'll see how it looks. All right, so we've just done the arts and crafts. <laughs> Let's put it on. <laughs> All right then, so here's, um, here's how it looks. I think remarkably. Plead your space suit. Remarkably. <laughs> I think these little badges actually really make a big difference in um, in how it looks and it actually looks quite decent yeah i think it really raises it um not bad eh? we'll crack on with the rest now we're happy with how it's come out our next move is to find where we're going to get our patches from for the spacesuit so that's going to be another google sesh so let's jump onto the computer straight away and get that sorted out while i was searching for a nasa and some extra patches I remember that I have actually a raincoat when I was younger that my mum stitched on a few NASA patches when I was going through a bit of a space craze. So I actually dug it out. I managed to remove the patches. So we've actually got ourselves a NASA patch and a space shuttle patch. So all we really need to do is find a UK flag patch. So let's go ahead and order this UK patch. And once it arrives, we'll stitch it on and then we'll put the whole thing on and we'll see how it all looks. All right then, the patch came today, the uh, flag patch. We've already got a NASA and just the general space one on the sleeve. Right, okay, so we've got it stitched on. So here it is. And I've got to say, I think it's come out so well. Like, I can't believe how well this tool station boiler suit has transformed into something that actually, I think, yeah, I'm just so happy with it. So here are the steps so you can create your own spacesuit. Step one. Buy the Port West Liverpool C813 zip coverall from either Toolstation or eBay. There are some different sites out there, but please check them on Trustpilot as some of them I did find were a bit dodgy. Step two, buy the patches you want for the NASA meatball, for your flag, and for anything else that you want to personally customize. I put all the links in the description below. Step three, either iron on your patch or sew them if you have that capability. And step four, enjoy your awesome new spacesuit and the look. It should come out to, if you go for about two to three patches, 26 pound overall. So now we've sourced the materials for the spacesuit and we know it's a viable product that we can reproduce for any orders. How do we turn this into a business? Well, there are a few business models I think we can try and follow. The first is a convenience product. Second, a made to order business. And thirdly, the first to market kind of model. So let me quickly dig into each of those. So the first business model we're gonna tackle is the convenience product. So essentially what we mean by here is where you pay for the convenience of getting a product, not the actual product. So a good example is paying Domino's five to 10 times for a pizza that you could pick up for a few quid from the local store. Now the next one is made to order. And essentially what this means is 
our risk and our investment is at a minimum as we don't have to buy stock in advance and we only pay for stock once an order comes in. And then the last one is first to market. And basically here you leverage the fact that you're the first kind of person in the space to build the brand awareness and to try and retain a large amount of the customer and community base. So leading off that, we have two main things we need to figure out in terms of sales and marketing. One is where are we going to sell the product? And secondly is how are we going to market it? So there are a few types of marketing approaches I wanna try with this spacesuit business that I haven't really done before. And they are tying in and piggybacking off media coverage on SpaceX, Elon Musk and rocket launches, using TikTok as a marketing tool, using subreddit to create content and push customers towards our spacesuits and do the same thing with creating a NAF space memes account. So I'm really interested to use TikTok and see how viable it is as a marketing tool. Because then we can maybe learn some things that we can use for any of our future two week businesses. So the plan is to create some content where I'm wearing the spacesuit, but I'm not directly selling it in something kind of called indirect marketing. Stop right there, you're under arrest. For rushing an explanation. So let me explain what I mean by indirect marketing. Essentially, it's a way to create some content and marketing materials where you're not directly trying to sell the product to the customer. An example could be, instead of us creating some TikTok videos where we're like, hey man, buy on my spacesuit, it's pretty cool, yeah, check it out, the link's in the description. We're instead just gonna basically create some space-themed content where we're wearing the spacesuits, it's kind of chilling out in the background, and then the users will see that, they'll engage more with our content, and then they'll go, oh, hey, that's a pretty cool spacesuit they got, where can I find that? So that's basically indirect marketing. How to be a spaceman in three simple steps. As an astronaut, it's always important to get your breakfast. What's important to do is to show people the product. So to do this, we're just gonna create some marketing materials. So I'm gonna enlist my flatmate, we're gonna head outside and we're gonna do a little bit of a photo shoot. So let's see how that goes on. Mm, that's a 10. Wow, that's awesome. The platform we're gonna put this on, and I think is really well suited to this kind of product is Etsy. And if you haven't heard of it before, Etsy is essentially a homemade, handmade version of eBay or Amazon. So where people have made their own products like this, or maybe they've knitted their own jumper um, or made their own art they wanna sell, they kind of go to Etsy to list that stuff. So it's gonna cost us 50p per listing and then Etsy will also take a nice 10% of any sale that we make. So I've got the Etsy page set up and I figured it's probably worth me going through and just explaining my logic behind a few things. So the key thing I want to note is the title. So here I basically try to include every keyword that I could think of that someone would search if they're looking for a coverall or a boy suit. Now this, you could almost call this SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. And I've done this by just looking at what other jumpsuits or other boiler suits have in their titles and then just using that from our own. Here you can see all the pictures that we took from the photo shoot, as well as some options of the badges available to them. And then simply in the description, I've just tried to explain how they need to order their product and some of the specific badges for looks that maybe they want to achieve if they want to be look like Tim Peake or Chris Hadfield. And that's basically it. That's kind of really simply what we're doing. And then what we can do is we can take a look at the stats and we can see how well it's working, how which keywords are hitting more often. And then we can maybe adapt it and change it and it'll help us with other things. So if we look down here, we can see that flight suit and space suit 
are hitting the most. So we know that if we maybe wanted to move to an eBay or a different marketplace, that is the right key term to use. You can also see we've got a little Mandalorian down here. So what's interesting about that is it's telling us that maybe people who are interested in Star Wars or Mandalorian are also going to be keen and interested in a NASA flight suit. So if we were to run a Facebook ad campaign, we could choose those keywords as well. And then early one morning, something out of this world happened. Houston, we have a sale. So it's pretty amazing. I can't believe we managed to get one sale in the time that we did this thing. And that's completely organically, no marketing spend at all. So let's, let me quickly run through what the person's ordered, what we're going to do now, um, and then some little extra things that I think make a unique experience for the customer that they wouldn't be able to do themselves. So the customer chose the SpaceX look, which basically means they get the Crew 1 badge, which is going to cost us £8. They get a nice NASA meatball. Here's the one that we're going to use and here's how it looks. They're also going to get a nice name patch and they've chosen for a USA flag patch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on all those websites and links that we put together when we were sourcing our materials. We'll order them and then we'll come back and I'll get on the sewing machine when they're done. a really good way to grow your brand and your convenience or made to order product is to give them a unique offering that they wouldn't or couldn't do themselves. So for this spacesuit essentially an example is we're going to wrap up when we package this in a nice silver wrapping paper that we picked up from Poundland just because it gives it that nice space agey feel and something a bit different. We did try initially in tin foil and this is how it came out but I don't think it would keep well. And then the other thing we're going to do is just write them a nice letter and include it in telling them congratulations on being a cadet at Spacesuit Industries. And again, that's our name. And just like our mask business, we've kept it simple. We make spacesuits and Industries is a spacey second thing you add on a company. All right, then we've now reached the point where we're going to go through the finances of this two week business. So let's start off with by covering the total losses and investment we've put in. So we spent £22 making my spacesuit. It cost us £35.50 to make the customer's orders. And we also spent £1 on silver wrapping from Poundland. We've also got £2.25 for an S extra NASA badge. And it cost us £13.25 to ship the customer's order because they're based abroad. So that brings a total loss of £74. If we now look at the revenue generated, we've only got the one sale from Etsy where when all the fees have been paid, we get to take home £54.34p, which gives us a net loss of £19.66. So now if we roll in this net loss with the total two week startup profits, we can do 595 profit made from the masks minus the £19.60 means that over a month, we're currently up right now, 575 pounds and 34 P. So here are the steps you can take to launch your own convenience or made to order product. Step one, figure out what supplies you need for your product. Step two, identify the manufacturers for these supplies. Step three, price your product at a 1.7 to two times multiple to attract those who may do it themselves. Step four, find the right selling price. Step five, to reach your targeted demographic, consider using indirect marketing to effectively create content for them. Step six, create unique experiences for your product, 
that the customer wouldn't or couldn't do if they self-made it. Thank you so much once again for tuning in for this two-week episode. Don't forget to like, comment and smash that subscribe button. Next week is the Q&A for this business. And then the week after, we've got again a completely new business. We'll see you then. No. Yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> Come in and do it again. Oh, f that. I've done an, I've gone completely off. I'm not, I'm not happy about that because I don't want to give her the money. <laughs>